Hello YouTube, I've recently been on a beach holiday to Canberra Sands which is near Kent. I decided to take my UV torch with me because I've been looking recently for UV minerals. I've always been really interested in fossils and minerals but I'm very new to UV minerals. We stayed in a beach house at Canberra Sands and I decided to go out after dark, shone my UV torch around and I managed to find a couple of pieces that glowed bright orange under the UV torch. After exploring the beach further, I noticed all of these boulders at one end of the beach and I did a bit of Google research and these have all been shipped over from Norway to make the sea defences at Canberra Sands. They're supposedly just uh, granite basically, but I took my torch out at night and I've shone it around onto these boulders, some of which are about 10 feet across. They're massive great boulders. And a couple of the rocks had the bright orange glowing mineral inside of them. When you look at this rock more carefully you'll notice that it has a slight bluish look to it and it looks kind of slightly translucent and it reminds me a lot of the rock called Labradorite which has got that sort of oily look to it and certain pieces of this rock do have that where you, you're seeing lots of colours um, like you do when you look at Labradorite. During one of the days on one of my walks, I picked up hundreds of pieces of this rock, took it back to the house, and only a couple of them glowed. Right, this is me out on one of the nights, shining my UV torch around, and this is one of the huge boulders that glowed. Um, some of these pieces, like this bit you're looking at here, is probably about 20 centimetres across, um, and some of these are really quite large bits. And it's really spectacular in real life. I don't think I'm going to do it much justice um, showing you this. But you can see, look, I'm shining my torch all the way along this rock, which was probably about, I don't know, 9 or 10 foot across. It's a huge rock. And it's got the glow all the way across it. You'll notice the surrounding rock as well glows an interesting purple colour. And the closest that I could find to this online is... A mineral called hackmanite so I don't know if it is that or sodalite. Right this is me back at home afterwards having sliced up some of the smaller rocks that I found. I'll show you my UV torch to give you an idea of what I'm using. So it's this thing called gem torch um, by gemstone masters. It's a really good torch because it's got lots of different settings so you've got to be careful because you can easily go online onto eBay or something and buy um, a UV light but what you'll notice about this one when I do one press that gives you long wave which is 365 the next press is um, short wave which is 395 if you were to just buy a torch that's just 395 you don't get the glow anywhere near as good it does do something but um, what you really after if you want to go looking for um, fluorescent minerals is 365. I think the 365 refers to the wavelength um, so it's 365 nanometers um, and if you have a look when I shine this light on the rocks you can see the orange glow. This is uh, even in the daytime it's showing up because the orange really is quite vivid. Again this uh, video will not be doing it much justice it looks much better in real life um, and a lot of these rocks, you know, some of them have got surfaces that are just, you know, as I found them. Some of them I have sliced on my rock cutter. And so then it, you get a really smooth kind of um, cut. I could further polish that kind of flat surface as well with various sandpapers to get it really smooth and shiny. And then probably the glow would um, show up even brighter. But at the moment, most of these are looking pretty good anyway. And uh, when you turn the light off, obviously, when it's really dark, they glow much more. Like I say, the closest minerals that I could find online that these could be is a mineral called Hackmanite or another mineral called Sodalite. They both glow orange. Um, there is another mineral that looks really similar to this, but it can't be this because um, it's called Eupalite. And that is actually from America. And because these have come over from Norway... I don't think it can be Eupolite. Like I say, I'm very new to this UV mineral thing. So if any of you are watching this and you're like, I know what that is, it's such and such, 
Um, if you could let me know in the comments, I would be really, really appreciative of that. These smaller bits you're looking at now are particularly bright, and these are the ones that I found just outside the house where we were staying. When you shine the torch around on a beach, you do find a lot of rocks and things that do glow just subtly, just a little bit orange or whatever, or you know, a little bit kind of um, yellow or a tiny bit green. But they're quite common rocks and they don't glow vividly like these ones do. They just are a slight kind of hint of colour. Unfortunately, any little bits of plastic that have been left on the beach quite often really vividly glow. So things like white plastic glows a really bright blue uh, or anything fluorescent plastic really shows up. Right, this is with all of the lights turned off and I'll just show you um, the effect just shining this over it. So this is what you're kind of seeing on the beach. If you're lucky, um, if you come across one of these rocks, this is how it sort of shows up really vividly and you're not going to miss it basically if you're walking along with your torch um, you're definitely going to see it because it looks like the rock is on fire i wasn't expecting to find any uv rocks at all so i was obviously really pleasantly surprised to come across this lot and maybe it's just lucky because it happens to be those rocks that were brought over from norway and maybe it's really hard to find rocks that glow generally speaking in the uk but um you know, I'll take my UV torch if I go on any other beach holidays in the future and just look around because you never know. I managed to come across a rock that was really huge, like it was so big that I could only just lift it. Um, but I took it over to another rock and dropped it and it broke in half. And that way I was able to put half of it in my backpack and carry the other half to my car, which luckily wasn't very far. Um, since then, I've been able to slice it up with the rock slicer and I've got a few chunks off. Most of it is still in this, you know, large rock kind of stage. So I'll just leave it outside for now and save it for a rainy day. Whoever discovered this effect for the first time must have been just amazed because, it, like I say, it really does look like there's fire or something coming from inside the rock. It really is spectacular in real life when you're looking at it. I know there are certain UV rocks that when you shine a light on them, they glow and then when you turn the light off they continue to glow for quite a while afterwards a bit like you know when you charge up some glow-in-the-dark plastic toy it glows for quite a while but then eventually it stops glowing when I first bought this UV light I decided to have a look in my mineral collection and just shine it around on everything and basically see if anything else glowed at all because I got quite a big mineral collection I was expecting lots of the minerals to glow but actually hardly any of them do and I'll show you some of those now. So this is a box mainly of just minerals that I had already. Um, there's one that glows very vivid green which I'll talk about separately because that one has got an interesting story to it. But if you just have a look I mean again this video is not going to do it much justice but you can see um, slight glowing of most of the minerals but like I say that green one is particularly vivid all of the rest of them just have like slight glows to them some of them in here like rubies they they glow under uv light um, zircons as well they glow another sort of orange color um, in here is again it's hard to see but there's like fluorescent yellows and things in this it looks better again in the dark um, and the cracks as well in the, in that little bit that's um, calcite in that rock. Um, but yeah, the green rock is a rock called hyalite. And the interesting story behind that is I was at a rock and gem show and I just had bought this torch and I thought I'm going to go around and I'm just going to shine it on all the minerals as I walk around the show and look and see if I can find any glowing minerals. I thought at a rock and gem show I would shine my torch around and I would find loads of rocks that glowed under the UV light but I hardly found any. There were a few eupolites and a few that glowed just you know very subtly but um, none that glowed really brightly until I came across this piece of highlight and it just glowed that really fluorescent green. And luckily the guy on the table hadn't seen me shining the torch on it. I don't think he even knew that it was a rock that glowed. And uh, I noticed it had £20 written on it. 
So I said to the guy, uh, would you take 15 for this? And he said, yes. And I thought, amazing. So I got it for a bargain price. And it is like definitely the rock that glows the most out of any rock I've ever seen so far. <laughs> what I'm aiming to do is to have a little cabinet that's really black and then have a UV light set up in it so that I can show people the rocks whenever I want to. And I'll just look out for really vivid coloured rocks and just add to my collection just from time to time. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, let me know in the comments if you can identify the rocks that I found at Canva Sands. Hit subscribe if you want to see any videos that I post up in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.